This is the Kodak ZI8 camera shown with the tripod attached. The power button is on the right hand side of the camera. Hold the power button down for a second and then release it. When you turn the camera on, it'll display what resolution mode it's in. The resolution modes are 1080p, 720p 60 frames a second, which is actually 720i, 720p 30 frames a second, WVGA, and still. Using the button in the center and pushing it to the left or right will change the resolution settings of the camera. I would suggest using 720p. To start and stop shooting video, just hit the red button. This button is for playback. This button is to switch back to camera mode. This button is to delete files. You can also delete files on the computer. And this is to get into the menus. One of the nice features of this camera is the ability to shoot very close or macro. To switch the camera over into macro mode, move the switch on top of the camera from the mountain graphic, which are two triangles to the left, to the flower graphic, which stands for macro, to the right. To access the USB cable, slide the latch on the bottom of the camera in the direction of the arrow. That will release the cable. The USB cable then pivots out. You can then plug the camera into the USB port of your computer. When using Windows 7, this menu will pop up once you plug the camera into the computer. The default setting is the correct setting. Open folder to view files. Any pictures or video that you shoot will be in the DCIM folder. And within that folder, the video will be in the ZI8 folder. The files in there will all be .mov for video. Picture files will be .jpg. Another way to access the files is to double click on the computer icon. This will bring up the computer system menu. In this case, the camera shows up as removable disk I. Double click on that and that will access the DCIM folder once again opening that up and then opening the ZI8 or the 210EK ZI8 menu will get you to your videos and your photos. Your photos will be .jpg images if they are any. If you want to transfer a file from the camera to your computer, select that file and drag it onto your desktop or to another folder where you want to put the file itself. Here I'm just moving it onto the desktop. So we'll copy the file. You can also download or install the Kodak camera software, which is called ArcSoft, on your computer. This will give you the ability to edit the video and manipulate it unless you have software on your computer that you want to use instead. This will only work with PC computers. When removing the camera from the computer, make sure to click on the unmount icon. and then click on Eject ZI8. You can then safely remove the camera from the port at that point in time. Please remember to recharge the camera when you're done using it. Use the wall transformer that comes with the camera to do this. Plug that into the wall and the USB type power type cable plugs into the transformer. Now this end plugs into your ZI8 camera it plugs into here. When you plug the power into the side of the ZI8 camera, the power light will light up on the side of the camera. When the power light goes off, the camera is fully charged. 